Well, this is not how I expected this adventure to start. Welcome to the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. I'm out here in the forest. The fog is rolling in and so is the rain. My plan for this adventure was to hike, but I don't think that's going to be possible, at least not right now. Check out the size of those raindrops, they're huge. Okay, well, I'm going to stop here, set up a tarp real quick for the third time. Yes, seriously, for the third time. When I got here, it was raining, came out, set up the tarp, went and got the camera, it stopped raining, broke down the tarp, started raining, set it up, broke it down. I'm just gonna have to set it up here and leave it. I will bring you all back in just a minute. I need to cover up this camera. It is always an adventure. <laughs> now that everything is soaking wet, including myself, let's begin. Today I'm out here in one of my favorite places. I love this forest. It is so beautiful. It's getting foggy. Really foggy. I've come to this location numerous times. It's been a while though. I'd say it's been, I don't know, a good month, something like that, since I was here last. I have a story to tell you all that I'll tell you with lunch about the last time I was out here and this time because there is a difference between the two. Funny story coming up. I think the sun is coming out. <laughs> That's how it works. Oh well, it is what it is. I'm not going any further. Everything here is wet, including the camera. And here in a second, I'll dry it off. Okay. Yeah, everyone, the sun is coming out. That's funny. For today's adventure, I came out here to do some exploring. We were going to hike around the mountain and connect some old dead trails. I think for now, at least, we're going to forget about the hiking part. It is so wet. You can hear all of the moisture falling from the trees. I think for now, I'm going to get a fire going in my stove here and we'll make some coffee. Isn't it funny how the weather can change just like that? Originally, the plan was to hike this trail here and do a big loop. It's about 10 miles. This is a dead trail, and that basically means a trail that's no longer used. Previously, this was part of a big trail system, and it came over the mountain, but they diverted it. It now goes around the mountain. It was going to be a good hike, but because everything's now soaking wet, I think we will do that another day. I could put my rain gear on and do it, but gosh, I'd be soaked in sweat in no time. That sounds pretty miserable to me, so I think for now, let's just hang out underneath the tarp. First things first, I'm going to gather some firewood, and that's because I want to get the stove going. It's not that hot today, but now it's muggy and humid. Whew. Took off the chest rig, get some nice airflow. It looks like maybe Another round of showers is coming in. It's getting all foggy once more. All of this stuff is wet, but it's not soaked. You can hear the snap to it, and that's a good indicator. It's dry on the inside, damp on the outside it will easily burn. Perfect.
thunder. I think a storm is coming, everyone. Hmm. Because of that, I think I need to move this stove back just a little bit. Here comes the rain. Thunder in the distance, rain is on top of us. It's going to be a good day. I am so glad that I decided not to do that 10 mile hike. It is so dark right now, so foggy, it's raining, there's thunder over here. That was a good choice. As for the fire, I'm going to let this die down for now. Here in a little bit, we'll fire it back up though. That's because I'm going to make lunch. <laughs> it is on now. It is so dark, in fact, I might have to get a light going. The winds are picking up as well. I went ahead and I lowered the tarp. It's getting so windy that it's just blowing moisture all over the place. So by lowering it down, it does help it some. <laughs> oh man, I love it.
It is absolutely coming down right now. We're talking about inches per hour. In fact, my entire site here is about to be flooded. The storm is getting close too. Cheers everyone, cheers. I'll try to keep some of this wood dry. The only way that I can make my lunch is with that firewood. So while some of it's getting wet, hopefully it's not too, too wet. <laughs> I'll see if I have any service here. Nope, not a bit. Alright. As far as the weather goes, we're in the dark. Viewers ask me all the time if it really rains as much as you all see in these videos, and the answer is yes. If not every day, every other day it rains here. Here in these mountains, you can't walk half a mile without finding water. It's that prevalent here. The stove is going to be a little bit wet, that's okay. Most of this wood is dry-ish, so with some fire starter, shouldn't have a problem. With this adventure, folks, this is a great example of how you should be prepared to, like, change your plans in an instant. Not a bit of this has gone to plan today. <laughs>
All right, everyone, lunch has been made. And what I made here is what I call chicken supreme. So there's broccoli, chicken, cream of chicken soup, curry, a little bit of mayonnaise. Now you can use milk, but if you're lactose intolerant, you can use mayonnaise. That will make it extra creamy. If you're going to make this in the back country, I would recommend mayonnaise. Mayonnaise in a packet, that's easy to carry. Milk, not so much. With the chicken, I cooked it at home, so pretty much it was ready to go. But I had to boil the broccoli to get it tender enough to eat. So what this is, is cheesy, creamy, broccoli, chicken, curry, and it smells incredible. I'm gonna go ahead, try this out. <laughs> Let this cool down for a minute. That looks molten. Please, Lord, don't let this burn my mouth. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. I tell you what, I will put the recipe for this in the description box for you. When you make this, let me know. Tell me how much you love it, because it is so good. Look at that. <laughs> still hearing thunder. It's still rocking out there. I was going to tell you all the story about coming out here. So roughly a month ago, on the way out here, there's a, this house, right? So a tree fell on it, fell right into the roof, caved it in. The house wasn't destroyed, just that chunk of roof. I drove by, saw the house, and I'm like, oh man, that sucks. Kept on going. A month later, I drive by today. The house is gone, but that freaking tree's still there. <laughs> Tearing down the house seems a little bit extreme, but why did they leave the tree? It's totally bizarre. I expected to see the tree gone, not the house. I don't know. <laughs> I thought that was incredibly funny and bizarre when I drove by. That is my riveting story for this episode. <laughs> I have some shout outs to do real quick before I forget. So Craig Combs, thank you so much for everything, buddy. You're the man. You're a good friend. It's always good to hear from you. Lance, I really appreciate the beverage bag. You are the man. Blake, you too are the man. Thanks for the coffee. Christian, thank you so much for the hatchet. I really appreciate it. That's interesting. And lastly, everyone, happy birthday to Sarah. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have an awesome 23rd birthday. Mm. I apologize everyone, this episode's not quite as adventurous as I thought it was going to be. I'm glad I had this tarp with me. The chance of rain today was super low, it was like 10%. It goes to show, this is why you need to be prepared. Basically, for this trip, I'm just stuck underneath this tarp. That's okay, having a good time, but unfortunately, you're not going to see much hiking today. It's just too wet. And because of that, I'm going to call this episode done. Thank you all so much for joining me for this trip, for this lunch. Trust me, if you make Chicken Supreme, you will love it. That was an over-the-fire casserole, and it was incredible. If you like broccoli, if you like curry, oh man, so good. I'm going to begin breaking everything down. Everyone, take care, be well, strength and honor. Hit the thumbs up before you go. It does help the channel. I appreciate you coming out here with me. On to the next adventure. Bye for now.